And while I was doing this um, H250 mystery, mystery, it's a mystery, mystery uh, uh, mini quad. I mean, the, obviously, the, the build quality on these is absolutely superb. I can't fault it. Really, really can't for the price. Anyway, I was going through the instructions, and we have a, a number one, and number two, and I think that's three. And then we have number four, and then we have number five, and there's no number six. So that, that was the first thing. It's only a small thing. I, I didn't need these anyway. It was quite easy to... Uh, build it without the instructions so what we have now um, if I plug the battery in the first thing I'm going to do is put my antenna on my Tyrannus switch warning oh shut up that's it right So, I've got a bleeper um, connected now. So there you go. So what we have in here, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but something to point with. That'll do. A nice metal object always works well. So, we have the uh, the Fat Shark um, 200 milliwatt uh, transmitter there. This board here is uh, the Minim OSD, which is running um, RVOSD, I think it is, which is far superior to um, uh, just the uh, the Minim OSD or the Minim OSD Extra. Here we have. A teen C, and all that's actually doing is just dumping the uh, the battery voltage out to the free sky telemetry. Obviously, I've got the um, NAS32, NASI 32, NASI 32, whatever you want to call it. On the top here, we have just a standard uh, Neo 6M, I think it is, uh, GPS. Um, and what else is there? Um, Free Sky X6R, thousand milliamp battery, and on the front we have a Mobius. So, I'll take the lens cap off. Oh yeah, good idea. Colour it, because I'm always leaving the lens cap on. So we've got the battery voltage, we've got RSSI, the RSSI does actually work. Um, as you can see. So, far, yeah. so that gives you um, the flight mode, uh, GPS satellites, obviously art artificial horizon, throttle percentage, uh, the on time, and when you actually um, hit the throttle that will give you the, um, the flight time. Um, down the bottom here will appear the GPS coordinates when it actually gets GPS lock. Um, I can't remember what's up here. So if you want something um, decent, dump the Minim OSD and go for KV OSD. But the only thing is they're not uh, they're not actually producing it now. They're not supporting it. So, but it is, in my opinion, far better. Now I went out yesterday and did, um, oh yes, incidentally, on the, can't see this, on the front here I've actually mounted the rubber plate, the anti-vibration anti plate, I've actually mounted it on the bottom rather than the top, and I've chopped the top plate, which meant a complete, um, a complete strip down. Oh, the other thing I've got in here as well, there's two um, voltage regulators um, inside there that's stepping down from the 12.6 volts to 5 volts, I think it is. One of them goes to charge the Mobius, and the other one goes to charging the receiver and also the Minim OSD and the Teensy. 
I needed that because the BECs on these ESCs um, it was getting a bit hot in fact that one is still getting too hot so I may have to um, change it slightly as well and put another one in line um, the regulators they're, they're, I think they're about a pound so get loads you'll use them and that's basically it so that's how it stands Now look what you've done. You've smashed it, you silly son. <laughs>